knocker up was still in demand even after the introduction of cheap alarm clocks. Streets echoed to the familiar tapping and rattling, a dowdy figure with a long pole. Originally employed by private firms as night watchmen, they could do as many as 50 calls each morning for one penny a visit. Come on, don't lie in the bed all day. Come on. In 1932, we take a look at the annual hospital carnival. It was organised to raise money for the local hospital. There was, of course, no national health service in those days. Everyone was encouraged to take part in any style of dress and travel on any form of transport. Many caricatured famous people. Local industry came in the form of the famous Burko boiler, everyone's household necessity. Bobby Hayworth, Burnley's last cabbie, carried the mayor, councillor Robin Place, and his mayoress. The route was along St James Street and Colne Road to the Prairie Field. In 1932 was still a time of economic depression with many out